Hi, this is Chris from All Guns 101. Today we're going to have a long discussion, hopefully not too long, on your primers, your powder, projectiles, measurements. So, once again on the bench here is the Thompson Impact. Uh, first things first, make sure a firearm is secure and safe. As you see, there is no primer. Trigger lock is on, we can remove that if we want to. What I'm going to talk to you about today is that uh, primers and the effect on your firearm. Personally speaking, I use Blackhorn 209, uh, also with 50 cal, 300 grain bullet projectiles, I should say. The thing about the Blackhorn that I really do enjoy is that I can shoot a full pack of 20 through my gun and not have to clean it while I'm shooting. A lot of the uh, pre-made pucks, the disadvantage of them is there are a lot of glues and other adhesives that get gummed up in your barrel and usually after two to three rounds you got to tear it down and clean it. So this helps a lot when you're sighting in. In the field you can use whatever you like. Personally speaking this is my choice. Hornady and Blackhorn. Also going to talk about different ways to measure your powder. I shoot out of this firearm 100 grains. So as you see I have 100. What I did to make life easy on myself is I bought one of these brass containers to pre-weigh it and what I did here is I chose my range, testing through there of course to verify that I'm getting 100 grains every time. On this little thumb screw uh, I put some blue Loctite so that I can never adjust it because this is what I'm always going to shoot through this rifle and I don't want to play with that. So these are just ways to help you out and now we're going to get to the brass tacks on this. Uh, as you see here I have two different companies of primers. CCI Magnums, Federal Magnums. Since I shoot Blackhorn it's recommended I use a Magnum shotgun primer. The reason for that is get a clean burn on it. The problem I have is uh, not choosing companies out. As you see I've used quite a few and I've thrown away quite a few. Reason for that is I'm going to remove my trigger. For example, I'm going to take a CCI primer and now these are all the ones I've, I've shot with. I've sighted the rifle in and as you see here right there there's this gap. So that shows the inconsistency of the primers. So now the gun is still operable I can still pull the hammer back but right here this is a danger to the shooter and also for the firearm. So it's very important when you choose a primer and I'm not doing this out of brand I'm going to take another primer randomly. Right now you see firearm is closed properly so I am safe to shoot this firearm and not have to worry about any damages to my personal being or the firearm. So as you saw what I had to do originally is I had to go through one by one the primers to figure out which ones were good which ones were bad. I gave up after doing three rows. It's a hundred so that's ten per row. If I take example CCI I think I have an open box here somewhere. There we are. At random whichever one pops up first so here I have two. So you know what? here we go we have three different primers. Let's give it a try. So the first one closes perfectly. We'll try one of the other two that I pulled out as well and it is possible these are mass produced you can have bad batches. Uh, once again closed perfectly Right. They're mass produced, bad batches, so it is very feasible and possible that you get some that are no good. Uh, I'm not putting the blame on the manufacturers, I'm not putting the blame on the production, but what I am saying is that when you choose your primers for your firearm, make sure that you only shoot the ones that are in that fit correctly, that the firearm will operate correctly. Um, I don't want to put a blame on Thompson neither just because of the fact that it is a wonderful firearm it's extremely accurate I haven't had any just issues with it except for primers I usually stay away from going to brand big brand names uh, 
as you see I bought this $4.99 the CCI's were $9.99 so basically double the price but it shows you that the quality is there Thompson this is a little word for you if the chamber isn't closed 100% you should not be able to operate this firearm uh, it could just be a small design flaw but you're putting a lot of people at risk for this opening up while they pull that trigger and having the explosive uh, basically the explosion from the primer coming out and lacerating or burning someone's face so please stay tuned be careful and review and subscribe